So I just filmed a reaction to the teaser trailer for Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And uh, there was a bit of information that I left out of it because I didn't want to add a potentially sizable spoiler in that trailer reaction. I didn't want someone to just be watching it and uh, wanting to see my thoughts on the trailer and then have a, a pretty big joke in the movie spoiled for them. So I decided, okay, I'm going to, this is too big for me not to mention. I decided to just do a separate video. So last year, Disney was testing this film and a bit of information came out. I didn't believe it. I, I didn't believe it at all. I thought that, okay, somebody is really messing with us now. Didn't believe it. Now I'll get to that cameo in a minute. First, I want I have the synopsis here for the movie. I'm going to read it. I'll put it up on the screen. It says, It's been years since the end of Rescue Rangers, and Chip and Dale are currently living a life of mediocrity in a world where humans and cartoon characters live together. Meanwhile, traditionally animated characters are doing their best to live in a world of remakes and reboots with realistic computer graphics. Now, Chip and Dale must renew their partnership to try and save a friend from a fate worse than death. Video piracy. Credit to Reddit for that. Again, when I heard this cameo, I thought, no way. But after seeing the trailer, I'm thinking, okay, so maybe maybe this cameo is the real deal. I'll let you decide. If you are cautious about spoilers, here's your chance to, to exit the video. Three, two, one. So if you remember back in 2012 and in uh, 2018, the Wreck-It Ralph movies, one big piece of marketing for that movie was the fact that they had Sonic the Hedgehog in them. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers is going to have Sonic too. But not that Sonic. No, not that one either. This Sonic. That's right. From what I understand, uh, this is indeed going to have the abandoned original design for Sonic the Hedgehog from the uh, 2020 movie. And I wouldn't say he has a huge role, but it's a considerable role. It's not just going to be, oh, hey, there's Sonic. No, I mean, he's actually part of the plot. As you know, Dale has a CGI makeover, and Sonic is kind of an example of how that can go wrong for some characters in this world. So, yeah, uh, that's all I just, I, it blew my mind so much, I just wanted to talk about it. And, and now that I'm talking about it, I really don't have anything to say about it. Other than, wow, that's really cool. I think it's kind of funny that, the model was made for this 2020 Sonic movie. Of course, they didn't go with it. But I'm thinking, in a way, I'm thinking, good for those animators uh, who made that original Sonic, that their work is finally going to be seen in a, in a movie. I didn't like the design. It wasn't for me. But it's like, still, I'm almost like, okay, so it's a win-win for everyone. We get a hilarious joke. And whoever designed that Sonic now gets to feel some validation that he's going to be featured in a movie. So again, it's kind of a win-win for everyone, right? What do you think? Do you think this is just total BS? What I'm hearing is that he's actually in this movie. Let me know what you think of that. Uh, don't be too mean <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> At least you can be mean about that thing. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.